80 year old grandfather John DePonzo is dead tonight. Police say his 24 year old grandson Andrew Vahey shot him early this morning, then drove about an hour away to Letchworth State Park and shot himself. The investigation involves several law enforcement agencies. As Jatira Marsh explains, Irondequoit police call it a tragedy that began with a family dispute. Jatira. Teresa Aronikoy, Chief of Police Scott Peters, says this stemmed from a weeks-long argument over the grandfather's house. Today, shortly before 6 this morning, police say 80-year-old John DePonto's girlfriend called 911, hysterically telling them there's blood everywhere. When they arrived at 500 Pine Grove Ave, Aronikoy Police Chief Scott Peters says DePonto's body was found near the door. He was obviously deceased and appeared to have suffered a gunshot wound to his upper torso. Chief Peters says the victim's girlfriend gave them a description of the suspect, 24-year-old Andrew Vahey, the victim's grandson. She explained what happened and police say surveillance video confirmed her statements. Vahey lived down the street. When police got to the address, they found the suspect's roommate at the house. He also said he just received some texts from his roommate that said he had just killed his grandfather and was now going to kill himself. Police were able to locate the suspect's car at Letchwork State Park, evacuate the park of campers, and began to search for the suspect on foot with canines. The suspect was armed with what appeared to be a long gun. SORT team members attempted to contact the suspect, but he immediately used the gun to take his own life. Emergency medical care was given by SORT team members, but it proved to be unsuccessful. Back at the neighborhood, as police continued their investigation, neighbors were shocked, including one who knew the victim for 30 years, called DePonso a good man. He just didn't bother anybody, always helpful. They always take the good ones first, except this time it wasn't God's fault. Veronica Chief of Police Scott Peters says he's saddened by the situation and that it took place in his community and that a family lost two members. He says there will be victims assistance and other resources made available to those who need it. Teresa, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you. You can find the full press conference from this evening over on our website at rochesterfirst.com.